Welcome back to Ukinic. So here at Ukinic we have a 2020 Honda Civic and we have removed the window regulator unit from the car and if you come to the conclusion that it is just the motor itself and you want to replace just the motor itself that is doable you'll still need to remove the whole unit from the vehicle and then be able to gain access to the motor here. To start with we need to pump this little controller up and have to pull this little piece here which holds your window uh, door switches and the electric here and then there's one screw down here that you That up and out. Uh, the uh, little connectors here, the tab, you have to press it in. We have the uh, electric connectors are done. And we've got that connection undone. And so now we have that out of the way. Then we have one uh, Phillips screw right here. We remove that one Phillips screw, it's a thing. That side. And now we take our good plastic tube. We'll be able to get your way around here. What we do is we go around and we make sure all of the little push pins that are holding this to it are done. Now up here we have this that's connected into that little pipe. I've been able to pull those out of there and all those push clips we're now able to remove our inner core uh, cover and we can set that aside. Now that the inner door panel has been removed, now we have access to remove this little plastic cover and so we'll go through that process. First we have this connector up here. We'll want to um, undo the electric connector that goes to the mirror and also pop this connection out so that when we undo this uh, plastic panel that is glued on here. You may prefer not to undo this just because you want it to like, you know, just hang this piece out here. That's uh, it's up to you. Or if you want to remove the whole thing. This now this is held on by a clip and if you come in from the bottom and the top side, you're able to press the connector tabs to unhook it. And what you're trying to, you're pressing these little tabs here that hold that together. Okay, so we've got that side undone. We have one electric connector over here on this side. We'll undo that, and that one will feed through there. Now, we have this little plastic cover here. It's an access cover, so we'll remove that, because that way it also holds this plastic piece on there. And now, we will go and remove this. Now, this is a fairly new car, so this blue is nice and still sticky. So we want to remove it best we can. And also while we're working on anything here, we do our best not to be touching this and getting it all over ourselves. Okay, so that's that removed. Now, we need to be able to gain access to undo the window which we need to move the window up. So we removed the plastic film and now we have access to be able to remove the two bolts here that hold our window in. Um, you will need to raise the window almost all the way up. Um, it's only about four inches down from the top. You see, it's only this uh, much from the top. But as long as those access holes are, are available there. And so we need our number 10 millimeter to undo those bolts. And then we can now pull the, uh, the glass out. All this process because we do want to reuse that glue. We do our best not to be touching it. And if if a factory really messes up, we get some more adhesive glue and start. Okay, so we now can remove the glass. We undid the two bolts that hold the glass in. So what you're going to want to do is you want to grab your glass, you have to pull up on it, and then we pull out the top side edge. So we've got the front kind of front there, pull up on the top side edge, and we're able to pull 
the glass out of the vehicle, and then now we'll be able to remove the window regulator now that we have the glass out. Once that's out, then we will be able to undo the four bolts here, we'll hold the regulator in, two up top here, two down at the bottom, and then that whole regulator unit will come out. There's going to be one electrical connector down in there that we're going to need to be undo once we get everything loosened out. So to make it a, a very easy for us, and we want to take care to try not to touch this, this sticky goo that is on the door from where the plastic piece was. So just unhook this, uh, all this electric and get it down out of our way so that when we remove the unit, we have the freedom because we'll be taking it out this hole. Two bolts up here, size 10. So we have the four bolts undone, and now there are some little tabs up here that will hold the window regulator in. So you'll be able to side, press it back, and now we do need to get in there and unhook the electric connector from the motor itself. Press the tab to unclip it. You could also undo this connection right here, which is just a, a push clip to give you a little bit more freedom. But you just gotta squeeze that tab and unhook it. And then when that's all done, you'll be able to do the picture and remove the window regulator and motor unit out of your vehicle. That is the full unit. These are the plastic components that are gonna break a lot, especially these wheels is what's gonna break. And so you might just opt that you need to replace just the motor unit itself. So we'll go over that as a separate step. If you're replacing just the motor unit because the electrics haven't, have stopped working in it, you can replace that. There's just a few things you're gonna to wanna to be a little bit careful with. But if you need to replace this, there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to be careful about. When you take this unit out, we wanna make sure that we pop it out of here without making, there's a little piece that holds the spools one way and the other. If that pops out, then you'll have to rewind it and that it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, but we need to undo the three uh, size number eight bolts. So here's your most crucial part, is that when you're pulling this apart, you wanna just be able to pull it out, pull it out simply. You don't want this little piece to pop out because when it does, then you have to re-spool it, and it uh, can be done. You, know, you can do it, but it's it's not fun. I've done it before, it's not fun. So this would be the motor, the whole motor unit. You're also gonna check these splines that they're not um, you know, twisted and worn off. If these are worn off, that means that these would be worn too, and so that would just require, you, you would, just to simplify a whole new unit. But you know, if it's just that the motor itself has gone bad and worn out, then, and nothing is wrong here with the splines, then you'll be fine to be able to replace the motor. So you would take your new motor, we line it up, and you line the splines up, and then press it down, and put it back in, into place. And then be able to tighten the three bolts that hold it on. So we've tightened the, uh, the three bolts there, and now we would be able to put this window regulator back in our vehicle and to install the, the window and all of those components that go with it. So you're going to take your window regulator and you're going to put it back in with the motor mainly pushing toward the back, right? And so we'll be able to insert it through the hole here, make sure that we are going to reconnect the electric connection once it's inside. So sort of through the uh, side door here and then you'll be able to bring it up over here you're going to see we have a, a tab that is on the regulator unit itself as well as another tab here that will hold it from the top hold it from the bottom and so that will essentially line it 
right where it needs to be and now we can start the, the four bolts. Uh, two on the top, two on the bottom. We've tightened those up and now just make sure we don't forget to uh, hook up the electric connector down here onto the motor. Alright, we have that electric connection in and then you put your uh, other disconnector right back in there. First you got to put the window in and then put the shield back on and that would be the replacement of your window regulator on your 2020 Honda Civic. So we have our piece of glass, and so you're going to take it from the outside and be able to drop the front side down first. Get the uh, this is where you clamp it to. That's going to go in between the weather stripping. And slide it over into the, uh, the front channel, and then the back channel be able to line it and now it slides down and now we have access to put in the two number 10 millimeter bolts to hold the glass to the window regulator unit itself The glass has been installed into your, your vehicle there. So now we will come back with that little plastic piece that goes on here and try to adhere it the best we can to the way it was originally put on there. Okay, so we have our piece of plastic. Got to uh, feed the electric lines over on this side through it. That side through, see if we can uh, just kind of work from this side a little bit first. That right there is a, uh, it's a little drum hole. It gives you a good line up where it's supposed to start with. Now we can work our way around. I would add it. We're going to work this way. We have the electric. It comes from the other side. We have one uh, push grip here, we'll press it now. Let's uh, use our best kind of to work. All rotational on here. Worked our way around. Yeah. That is the plastic pieces that installed to the best that we can. So now that that is installed, we can go ahead through the remainder of the process of putting our inner board panel on. Don't forget, we need to make this connection up here to our mirror of the electric connector. Now that we've done that, we're all good there. We can make sure that we get our wires put on the here. here. And yeah. Find this up on the top. Put on the caps. Snap it into place. And just work our way around. And we have installed our inner door panel. We put the one um, Phillips screwdriver, one Phillips screw right there. And tighten that into place. thing would be to take our window door switch unit and install that, hooking up the electric lines. Being able to work this thing together and then I'll snap it in place. And that is the um, install as the inner door cover 
and the window door switches have all been installed on your 2020 Honda Civic. Thank you for watching. You can, or you can be a mechanic.